In 1845, the Republic of Texas was to be annexed as the 28th state of the United States of America. But Texas had unexpectedly become a major world power, with technology and resources rivaling that of the rapidly expanding states. In his last comprehensible letter, Sam Houston, former president of Texas and the first of his name, wrote this to his old friend, then U.S. President James K. Polk. To His Excellency James K. Polk, I take pleasure in assuring you, sir, of the growing popularity of your administration in all parts of the country I have traveled. With most sincere wishes for your success and happiness, I am very faithfully your friend and most obedient servant, Sam Houston. A month later, he sent a second letter. My dearest James, J.K., I have overthrown Anson Jones and converted our beloved Texas into a monarchy. I have claimed my rightful seat on the throne and now, as is the want of kings, have set my sights upon the whole of the American Empire. Bless your heart and yee-haw. His Majesty King Sam Houston of the New Texas Monarchy. Nothing would ever be the same. Sam Houston, it pains me to admit that the particularities of your humor on this matter escape me, dry as they are. However, in light of your recent amassing of Texas troops on the Louisiana border, these comments, previously thought to have been made in jest, warrant investigation. Perhaps there has been some change of heart on your opinion of annexation. I beg, make haste in your reply, because this is kinda sus, TBH. Big Jim, indeed, the thought of annexation has been abandoned, nay, reversed. In point of fact, it is the Kingdom of Texas that shall be annexed in the U.S. No hard feelings, Jimbo. Just business. Sam, it would appear that no word was a lie and that Louisiana is Texas now. I know not what madness has struck you, but I must fairly warn you that should you continue, your forces are to be dramatically outnumbered. James. Lol. Do the words hand-cranked machine gun mean anything to you? Get schooled. By which I mean, build more universities, you uneducated swine. Sam, you cannot possibly hope for success against such a larger foe. War is not simply a show of might, but a game of logistics. How do you plan to send supplies so far from home? In your previous correspondence, you asked where I might find the means to supply my armies at the front line. Charleston Harbor, James. That's right. The front has been moved past South Carolina after I stomped your punk-ass defenders. P.S. Get good. Sam, your recent success on the battlefield has been impressive. However, victory is truly won on the home front. I believe you will soon find that your recent outlawing of freedom of speech will awaken a great beast for which even you are not prepared to face. Actually, they love it. I, I had falsely assumed that my policies of mandatory conscription and enslavement of speech would anger my pops, but my approval ratings have only increased. Turns out, rich people are the only ones you need to please. Who knew? Speaking of the home front, you must be running short on your own pops about now, huh, Jimmy? Sucks to be you. Sam, I'm sorry, but I, st I just, I can't get over the king thing. I mean, who on earth is establishing a new monarchy right now? I thought we were kind of done with that sort of thing. Anywho, my populations have been exhausted, my resources drained. I tire of this conflict. Let us negotiate peace and be done with it. James, sorry, wasn't listening. I was too busy taking New York. GG, scrub. Capitulation or nothing forever emoting on your ass, King Sam. After claiming lands from the U.S. and Mexico, the Kingdom of Texas stretched across all of North America, from the East Coast to the West, leaving the United States with only the land Texas itself had once occupied. King Sam, you have won. While your reasons escape me, I suppose I shall congratulate you on your victory, and may God have mercy on whatever empire you set your sights on next. Actually, James, I believe I am done with this campaign. I just kind of thought being king of Texas would be funny. I think now I will try to put Poland in South America, lol. Sam, that's hilarious. Ta-da! You too could be the king of Texas in Victoria 3, which is out now. The game lets you lead any country of your choosing through the Industrial Revolution as historically accurately as you please. It is insanely detailed. If you want to support the channel, you can use our link in the description to get your own copy. And if you can manage to pull off any crazy Texas-related scenarios, send them our way, because we'd love to see them. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching.